Imagine this, a sliver of silicon, invisible to the naked eye, capable of shifting the balance of global power. Smaller than a grain of sand, yet powerful enough to disrupt industries, rewrite economies, and transform daily life as we know it. Now hold on to that thought, because China may have just done the unthinkable. They've reportedly engineered a one nanometer chip. That alone would be historic. But what's sending shockwaves through the tech world is something even more staggering. A 99.77% yield. In semiconductor terms, that's not just rare. It's virtually impossible. And yet, here we are. This isn't a step forward. It's a leap across a chasm once thought uncrossable. And here's where it gets terrifying. Because if this is real, we're not just looking at a new chip. We're staring into the eyes of a technological singularity. One that could completely rewrite the global tech hierarchy and usher in a new digital order. So what does it mean? Why are analysts losing sleep? Why are whispers echoing through the halls of Silicon Valley and defense ministries alike? Because this, this breakthrough, wasn't supposed to happen. Not yet. Let's break this down. In the world of chips, every nanometer is a war zone. Shrinking a chip means more transistors in the same space. More transistors mean faster speeds, lower power usage, and revolutionary AI capabilities. We've gone from 10 nanometers to 7 to 5, and now the bleeding edge sits at 3. Even at that size, yields rarely break 80%. Manufacturing is hellishly complex. Defects are expected. Costs skyrocket. The smaller you go, the harder it gets. Which is why one nanometer was considered the edge of physical possibility. A theoretical goalpost. Something to reach by the end of the decade, maybe. And then, China. 99.77% yield. Do you understand what that means? That's almost every chip on the production line coming out flawless. That's billions of transistors working in perfect harmony. That's not just a technological feat. It's a statement. A flag planted in the heart of a multi-trillion dollar industry. And the world is watching. So how the hell did they do it? We're digging deep. Sources suggest they may have bypassed traditional silicon entirely. The new frontier? 2D materials. Paper-thin, atom-level substances like graphene or molybdenum disulfide. Materials so thin they make human hair look like steel beams. These materials are not only smaller but faster, more conductive, and less power-hungry. They allow engineers to build at levels once thought to be pure fantasy. Then there's fabrication, where things get even murkier. There are murmurs of EUV lithography, but beyond what ASML can currently offer. Could they have developed their own tools in secret? Maybe. Or maybe it's something else. AI-driven chip design. A system so advanced it can simulate and optimize billions of possibilities in minutes, eliminating trial and error almost entirely. Think about that. Machines designing machines at a scale and speed no human can match. And suddenly everything starts to make sense. Or does it? Because here's the catch, no one saw this coming. No leaks, no teasers, no supply chain tremors. Just boom. One day China announces a one nanometer chip with nearly perfect yield, and the world gasps. Is this real? Or is it a carefully orchestrated move in a grander game? Part innovation, part psychological warfare. Could this be about influence, intimidation, or even control of future technologies? And here's where the stakes get even higher. This isn't just about faster smartphones or better graphics cards. A chip like this could revolutionize AI, cut training times, supercharge inference, and bring us closer than ever to artificial general intelligence. It could power quantum simulations, autonomous weapons, surveillance systems, financial algorithms. It could run entire cities. It means cheaper tech, smarter machines, and a global race that's no longer theoretical. It's happening in real time. And if China really does have a chip this advanced, they haven't just caught up. They've surged ahead. But are they alone? Some insiders whisper that Intel, TSMC, even Samsung have been working on similar breakthroughs in total silence. Could a counterpunch be coming? Is this the opening move in a high-stakes tech war, where whoever wins the chip race wins the future? And you, yes you, should care. Because this chip, this breakthrough, could touch every part of your life. Your phone could become a hundred times faster. Your laptop could last days on a single charge. Your car could drive better than a human. Your personal AI could evolve into something unrecognizably intelligent. And all of it would hinge on technology that's almost too small to see. That's the power of one nanometer. That's the power of 99.77% perfection. And yet, questions remain. Can they scale this production? Will it survive rigorous real-world testing? What will the geopolitical fallout look like when one country suddenly controls the most advanced chip on Earth? The truth is, we're standing at a crossroads. One path leads to a world transformed by unimaginable computing power. The other leads to a dangerous imbalance, technological power in the hands of the few, with consequences we can't begin to predict. So stay with us, because this story, it's only just beginning. Imagine a smartphone so fast and secure it doesn't need the cloud. AI processed instantly, right in your hand. 
Now, picture self-driving cars that react in real time, making decisions quicker and smarter than any human ever could. Data centers slashing energy use, cutting carbon emissions on a global scale. Foldable devices thinner than paper. VR that feels more real than reality. This isn't sci-fi. This is what the next generation of chips could unlock. And at the heart of it all, a staggering breakthrough. China may have cracked the one nanometer chip. This could be the engine powering everything from 6G networks to brain-computer interfaces. The possibilities are exhilarating. But here's where things take a sharp turn. Because this isn't just about tech. It's about power. For decades, the semiconductor throne has belonged to the US and Taiwan. But if China truly leads at one nanometer, the global balance of technology could tilt in a heartbeat. A 99.7% yield? If real, it means not just success, but mass production at a scale and cost the rest of the world can't match. That's not just a breakthrough. It's a potential monopoly. Consumer gadgets, military hardware, AI. The ripple effects would be massive. But what if this isn't just a leap forward? What if it's the opening shot of a new tech cold war? Sanctions. Supply chain wars. Rival breakthroughs racing against the clock. The world's superpowers eyeing each other with growing unease. The stage is set and every move matters. Yet beneath all the buzz, a shadow lingers. Because here's the twist. Not everything is as polished as it seems. Building a one nanometer chip isn't just a technical feat. It's a logistical nightmare. The materials needed, like graphene and other exotic 2D compounds, are notoriously hard to produce at scale. The manufacturing? Dependent on advanced tools like EUV lithography machines, most of which are tightly guarded by companies outside China. Has China really overcome these hurdles? Or are we seeing only the highlight reel, not the full picture? And what about that eye-popping yield number? 9977%. Is it sustainable across millions, billions of chips? Or is it a lab-controlled anomaly waiting to unravel under pressure? Then there's the elephant in the room, cybersecurity. A chip this powerful could unlock unmatched potential but also introduce vulnerabilities on a terrifying scale. What's the cost of putting that much power into such few hands? Who really controls the data? Who writes the rules? The tech world is buzzing, but the true test is only beginning. Can China transform this laboratory triumph into a global revolution? Or will it falter under geopolitical strain, logistical bottlenecks, and the relentless pace of global innovation? Because if the yield holds, everything changes. Imagine AI solving climate change or decoding dark matter. Imagine devices so seamless they feel like extensions of your body. This isn't science fiction. It's the edge of reality. And whoever wins this race, they won't just lead tech. They'll shape the future of humanity. But what if there's a catch? What if this miracle of modern engineering hides flaws we haven't yet seen? The one nanometer era has arrived, and it's about to rewrite the world as we know it. So what do you think? Is China's 99.77% chip yield the dawn of a technological renaissance? or the beginning of something far more complex, and maybe more dangerous. Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'm watching closely. This has been Revo Now, your front row seat to the next wave of innovation. If your mind's racing like mine is, hit that like button, share this with every tech geek you know, and subscribe for more. This is just the beginning. Stay curious, stay bold, and keep revolutionizing.